to draw first blood here tonight in Salt Lake. They start the home and home. They'll play again Wednesday night at Target Center. The Jazz just played in Memphis on Friday. Mike Conley gets to alter that shot. Covington can't finish. And Donovan Mitchell comes down with the rebound. Rocco gets a deflection, but the Jazz able to hold on to it. Mitchell, who starred for Team USA in the World Cup over the summer. He well, no doubt he'll have plenty more opportunities. Yes, sir. Covington able to get to the rack, and it bounces off. Conley feeding Gobert, and Gobert gets fouled. And able to get it to drop. Minnesota cannot miss inside shots when Rudy's being occupied by Carl Anthony Townsend. They're going to call a foul here on Mike Conley. Been getting time, and he's not been knocking down shots. So you see one go in, and it, it may start something for him. Gobert gets fed for the dunk. If they want someone shut down, Royce O'Neal's the man. O'Neal puts a lot of time in in the film room, and he really relishes his ability to shut down the opponent. I'll tell you what, Joe Ingles is going to hit. There you go. Foul on Gobert is his first. Lehman pulls up in front of Gobert. No. Back tap by Lehman, but Conley able to come up with it anyway. Ingles. Lehman unable to finish at the free throw line. There's the first miss tonight from the strike for the Wolves. Conley back on the floor now for the Grizzlies. Or excuse me, for the Jazz. That's going to be tough to not say, by the way. And Covington with the finish. How do you not say Mike Conley? Memphis Grizzlies, and he says he's never picked up a technical foul, not only in the NBA, but also not in college and not in high school. And a foul here as Conley drives inside. He did by the exception. Next, next year, he can opt out if he wants to, but he's not going to for $34 million. I would think not. Conley, no. Anderson plays against Minnesota. He kills. Although he did not play Saturday night. He did not. I talked to him they before they the game. They released him. Oh, my goodness. Towns is going to call for an offensive foul. Completely over. Take the lead. Gobert, an offensive rebound. Conley looking for a three. Conley has a three. And the Jets. Reverses direction, floater will fall. Travion. So Culver was trying to come off. He has to stay on. Bogdanovich gets around Towns. Bogdanovich. Shot clock down to six. Culver three. No. Conley with the board. 25-18 in favor of the Jazz on the glass so far tonight. Ingles has his third made three of the game. That man. Teague has Conley on him. And misses from inside the paint, rebounded by Mike Conley. Donovan Mitchell goes around town. Kind of using his arms as a battering ram to create space. Conley. Unable to get precipitous drop off. He's getting wide open looks too. It's not like he's shooting contested shots, but he, I think he spends too much time above the break, by the way. I think he, he'd be, if he's shooting more corner threes, I think that would be better for him. That rebound for Towns, by the way, was the 2900th defensive rebound of his career. And that's why you can't sit there and test me to bear right there. Royce O'Neal able to finally get it to roll in. And he just got blocked by Rudy Gobert. Bogdanovich. But they're shooting threes out of their baseline of bound, and they're not getting you know, quick hitters, and they were missing shots for sure, but some of that's probably just luck. 
Calmly rattles out the pinnacle and just was able to sling it down. And, and I've heard from the Utah Jazz broadcast team who went to Donovan's house to do an interview with him as Bogdanovich finishes. He was wide open. Rudy Gobert tried getting back out again. They've been switching a lot of some of those high ball screens with Mike Connolly just popping around the town, just trying to like six his way right to the rim. Dude, kind of sideways, I guess. Don't like it. Conley probing. And the Timberwolves get a real, even though you hate it. It's a dangerous play for both players. Sure is. So Gorgie played well in that first half. They'll need more of the same as Conley able to tell. Jazz have also turned it over 14 times. Conley. Towns comes up. Okogi into double figures now with 10 points. Been a balanced effort from the Wolves here tonight. Conley, a little floater from just inside the free throw line. Won't you? Bogdanovich off the back of the iron. Mitchell gets the screen from Gobert. There's the mid range jump shot you're talking about that. Not the big moments. Towns gets cut off. He can just stay in mid-pick action. Jeff Teague does a great job. The rebound, the Timberwolves with their largest lead of the game and the basketball against a Jazz team that has not lost at home this year. Wow. Not a good They've only made the three of their last 36 with that corner three right there, so now it's four of 37. And Martin and Travion so Graham for shot kid. most of them. I'm so happy for you and Martin to play. Three to shoot. Timberwolves need a shot. Teague leans in, gets it away. Jazz with the rebound. That would have been a nice shot to make. Conley can't connect. Martin able to get by Conley. Martin able to kiss it off the glass and in. What a night for Keelan Martin. He's got 14. I told you, Dave. I told you last ball game that when he started making some shots. That